Let me yellow together, pop them in, give them a twist, and you'll notice that maybe the yellow in there starts to turn blue. Oh yeah. So when I use my pen, I've got a bit of blue ink on my yellow nib. Oh, that's a really good effect. There it is. They were made initially for anime uh, artists. Uh -huh. so you get this nice sort of 3D poppy effect. Uh -huh. Another thing I like to do is I like to get a background sorted. Do the same thing, but this time we're going to not hold the pen at an angle, we'll hold the pen flat. And I want a little bit more ink to okay. hold it a little bit longer. So obviously the longer you hold it, it's gravity, the ink's going to build up. So now we've got brown ink in a purple pen, and as you can see the purple really starts good. to kick in. And you can blend as many colours as you want, I'm just doing two. This is the magic pen. The magic pen doesn't have any colour at all. Okay. But it changes your colours that are already on oh, the paper. That's and again, really you can good. Get this. It takes any of the pens and this turns my pen into an airbrush. Oh, well, you have an airbrush kit. I can do secret messages with my grandchildren, which they love. <laughs> I can do stenciling, which I love. Yeah, I like stencils. I'm, I say I'm not an artist at all at all. I really rely on stencils. But I love it. I went to Banksy exhibition twice. Uh -huh. I like it that much. So there's a card that I did. And there's how I... 